Ever since I was younger, I was into video games. Somebody like the fuse so I can bring bad news to all these crews who can't NBA jam with the shoe. Hey guys, welcome back to another beer review. Uh, tonight we are checking out another beer from the beer mail package that Matt sent. Uh, this is Antihero IPA from Revolution Brewing. Um, they are out of Chicago, Illinois. Um, I do not think I've ever had a Revolution Brewing beer. I'm not sure if these are out here or not. I don't recall ever seeing a Revolution beer. Um, but this is a 6.5% alcohol by volume IPA, and it's in a can. I love You guys know I love canned beers, um, and the can is awesome. <laughs> I love the, the art on here. Looks great. Um, it's got this general kind of guy with his head as a hop, and it's got hops um, parachuting from <laughs> from the sky. There's a big old green fist. So, uh, definite cool stuff from them. Um, and this beer is uh, still fresh too. It was canned on November the 12th, so I mean, just about a month old, just over a month old, maybe five weeks. So, at the time of recording. Um, but yeah, I looked up uh, online the IBUs for this, and I didn't find anything on either. Um, beer advocate or rate beer, so um, I don't know if this is going to be a bitter beer or what the deal is with this because neither one of the sites listed it, but from what people say, this is a really, really good beer, so I'm looking forward to trying it. So um, I'm actually going to use, I, <laughs> I never use pint glasses, but I just recently picked up um, to go with kind of the game room theme out here, these Zelda pint glasses from thinkgeek.com, um, and the way these work when they're, you know, when there's nothing in the glass and it's warm, the hearts are empty. You guys remember in Zelda, when you had full hearts, they were red, and then as you got hit, the hearts would go half and then full and then half and then empty, half empty, and they would go white. So um, if this works correctly, <laughs> when you pour cold um, liquid into this beer, the hearts will turn red, and then as you drink it and the glass warms back up, they turn white. So it kind of shows you where your beer's at and all that good stuff. So. Um, definitely, I mean, we'll see if this works, but if these work and you want one, definitely check them out. Uh, they are at thinkgeek.com. So here we go without any further ado. I'm going to try not to pour this too aggressive. All right. So that pour is a crystal clear, like a dark straw color. Um, tons of little bubbles coming up from the top. Uh, the hearts are starting, you can see they're starting to, uh, sorry about that, I had you run inside really quick. Um, as you can see, the hearts have, are starting to turn red as the cold liquid hits them. <laughs> These pint glasses are super cool. It actually looks, I mean, I don't know what it looks like on camera, but they're a dark, dark red now. Um, and then the top one where the where the liquid's not, just where the head's at. It's it's half red, so <laughs> super cool glasses. Definitely check these out if you're a gamer. Um, and if not, I mean, check them out anyways. Everyone played Zelda when they were kids, right? So, uh, like we were saying, um, it poured crystal clear. It's like a dark straw color, a golden color. Um, bright white head, there's about a finger of it when we poured it. Um, super tight bubbles all the way around. The top of the head is really, really fluffy. Um, there's no there's there's no big soapy bubbles on top of this one so and it might have just been because we gave it a less aggressive pour I don't like pouring really aggressive into pint glasses I don't like drinking beers a lot in pint glasses I'm kind of just doing this to show you these cool little glasses that they have um, but yeah I mean it looks great in the glass so just check out the aroma on this one uh, definite this reminds me more of an East Coast IPA definite definite sweet bready malts up front. There's some, there's some slight citrus there, uh, maybe some oranges, grapefruit. I don't know what kind of hops they use in this. I'll have to look when I'm done. Uh, but definite sweetness up front. Bready malts like that biscuity kind of crackery aroma. Um, and like I said, underneath there's like some, uh, some orange, maybe some tangerine, grapefruits. Not like a crazy, juicy smelling beer. Um, the hops are there, but they're not, it's not crazy, crazy hop forward like a lot of the West Coast IPAs that I'm used to. So, I mean, it smells good though. So let's go ahead and check it out. Matt, cheers. Thank you, sir. Hmm. Definite, uh, like bready, malty sweetness up front. You do get hops though, middle of the mouth. Um, nothing crazy. This doesn't taste like a bitter beer at all to me. I mean, IBUs, it, it doesn't say anywhere. 
I mean, I would say maybe like in the, in the 60 to 70 range. This is not a bitter beer at all. Um, but sweet bready malts right up front, uh, middle of the mouth, you get like that hop, a little bit of hop bitterness. There's some, uh, some tangerine orange, uh, maybe like some passion fruit. It's very sweet tasting. Super easy drinking for a six and a half percent beer for sure. Um, I mean, you could sit in session these all day long. Um, but this is definitely for me like an East coast style IPA. And again, not a bad thing. Um, it's just not my favorite style. I'm more of like that really dank, crazy, piney, uh, citrusy West coast style. This is definitely that East coast, more, uh, sweet malts there. I mean, there's definite hops there. Um, and as I'm talking and, and the, and the beer sitting on my tongue, that bitterness, um, is definitely showing up more, which is really, really good. Um, but yeah, I mean, this is, this is a good beer. It's a solid beer. Um, if I were to give this a grade, I would give it like a B plus. Um, I mean, there's definitely other beers, um, that I would probably drink before this. Uh, Matt sent the first beer that we reviewed from him was the Pipeworks beer called Sherbet. That beer was freaking amazing. Um, and this one's good. This is a solid beer. I mean, B plus, you know, I'd give it like an 87, 88. It's a really, really good beer. Um, but for the style for me, what I like, it's just not my favorite kind. So it's gotta be some kind of record for me. <laughs> I was interrupted again. Oh man. Uh, but yeah, getting back to this, um, really, really good beer for me, you know, B plus 87, 88, easily sessionable, um, solid IPA, uh, just definitely the, the East coast style for me. So, uh, Matt, Appreciate you sending this. Um, I'm gonna see if I, I think you actually sent some more. There might've been a couple other Revolution beers. I'm gonna see if I can get some more of these though. Um, it's, I mean, it's definitely a tasty beverage. So I'm gonna wrap this one up guys. As always, thank you for watching. Thank you for the likes. Thank you for commenting. Thank you for subscribing. Um, we are slowly creeping up to 700 subscribers, which is really, really exciting for me. Um, if you ever had Antihero from Revolution, let me know what you think. Good, good beer, solid stuff. So. Until next time, I will see you guys later. Cheers. Ever since I was younger, I was into video games. Somebody like the view so I can bring bad news to all these crews who can't NBA jam with the shoe.